every fire department has a fire boat in its fleet, but the Queen City does. We sure do. The Edward M. Cotter is not just a tool for Buffalo's bravest, it's a key part of the fire department's history. News 4's Abby Fridman takes us on board. You've probably seen the Edward M. Cotter fireboat steadily chugging along Lake Erie. Reaching a max speed of about 11 knots or 13 miles per hour, the glistening cherry red vessel is hard to miss. It really is iconic. You know, it's one of the eight uh, national historic landmarks in Buffalo. But how much do you really know about this floating piece of history? We went on board with the captain to find out more. It's the world's oldest active fireboat, built in 1900. It's 122 years old. This was built for big fires, big boat, big fires. In addition to extinguishing flames, the Cotter was built with ice-breaking capabilities, something crucial for keeping our beloved city above water. It does break ice uh, upstream, and it benefits a lot of communities when it comes to uh, uh, flooding in this in the spring. While the primary job of the Cotter is breaking ice along Lake Erie, it's still more than capable of putting out fires around the Buffalo shoreline. Our waterfront has boomed with business over the years, with grain elevators and warehouses lining the shoreline. I mean, obviously, being a city on the water, you need a fireboat. <laughs> uh, Buffalo, at one point in time, was one of the largest shipping ports in the country. The boat was renamed in 1955 to honor Edward M. Cotter, a Buffalo firefighter and union leader. While the Cotter is many things, one thing she's not is a rescue boat. For a smaller 20-foot pleasure craft or 25-foot pleasure craft, it just, you know, we'd sink the boat. The massive water cannons that line the perimeter are powerful. The Cotter is capable of pumping out 15,000 gallons of water at a time. To put that into perspective, you could fill a swimming pool in just 45 seconds. Very proud of the boat. We're so glad that it's part of the Buffalo Fire Department and, and the city of Buffalo. Captain John Sixt and an engineer are the sole operators of the over 300 ton vessel. The captain has been at the helm since 2016. Holidays, weekends, everything, I'm here all the time. It consumes my life. It's an honor and a privilege to serve the city this way. This hidden gem is tucked away on Ohio Street across from the General Mills factory. You can stop by anytime. So anytime there's a car in the parking lot, people can come to the firehouse and ring the doorbell, and we're more than happy to show people around. We've got a national treasure right in our harbor. So if you catch her and the captain out on the water, make sure to give them a wave. Boat's been sitting here for over 100 years, so <laughs> this is where she belongs. Reporting in Buffalo, Abby Fridman, News 4.